Welcome to the video channel of Shakti Karola Navrin, who is an expert in the field of healing gemstones. She is a published author as well as the creator of the gemstone profile based on your horoscope. Welcome. This is Shakti, your astrologer and gemstone lover. I have been astrologer for 35 years and a master jeweler for 33 years. And all my life I have kind of combine those two passion of mine and have created quite of an unusual way to look into gemstones and how we can use them to balance area in our chart and how we can use them to support ourselves in our daily life. So today I want to talk about how we can program a crystal or a gemstone or a piece of jewelry. So uh, there is this other video where you can learn how to clear and cleanse the piece you're working with first. And then it's kind of an, uh, an empty slate, an open pocket. So then when it's cleansed, you can put in what you want that piece for you to carry. So when you work with gemstones, uh, they work on two levels. One level is the frequency the gemstone carries and uh, the relation to the different chakras, uh, the impact it has onto your, your energy body. And this is easily uh, provable. You can do kinesiology and have somebody test you for which are your main and strongest and most most effective gemstones for you. So, so that's a very fast way to, to choose individual stones. Uh, but then there is a, a second level where the gemstones uh, have kind of a homeopathic way of working because they become kind of an anchor. They become an unconscious focus point for your inner uh, consciousness, your subconsciousness. So in this we can use consciously by programming some specific information into a piece of jewelry, of crystal, and then even if we don't remember like looking on at that piece or wearing that piece of jewelry, but uh, it will serve as an unconscious anchor for specific information. So uh, that's why crystals are fantastic to be used as um, anchors for intentions, for affirmations, and uh, having that uh, programmed crystal standing on your altar, in your workspace, it will do a lot for you. So let's get to it. How do we do it? So in a way, it's very similar to what we talked about uh, clearing a piece of jewelry from from energy which is not desired so so let's imagine this is clear now so again we build up an energy field between the right and the left hand so we can do it by holding the piece or if it's a smaller piece like a, a piece of jewelry we lay it in one hand and we hold the other hand on top of it which creates this energy flow between the plus and the minus in, in both hands. And uh, then I concentrate. And the best is uh, best way to do it is to concentrate on an image, an image which symbolized what we want to program into that piece. And when I have my image focused and sharp in my mind, then I kind of breathe it in because the breath of life, uh, of our life force, is very powerful and it kind of interrupts this flow between the hands. So this is how we set that uh, frequency into place. So it's like... Deep breath, strong out breath. This is how you do it. It's actually very simple. And uh, when you have uh, had experience with neuro-linguistic programming uh, called NLP, uh, we work a lot with anchoring. And uh, you can anchor ideas, uh, emotions, uh, uh, intentions into anything. 
and to use that uh, with crystals and, and jewelry uh, is just a very elegant and, and wonderful way to, to use uh, qualities, uh, the amplification crystal can give additionally to becoming an anchor, they kind of amplify those thought forms, those ideas, those intentions. So thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you will have fun. Make sure you subscribe you, so you're automatically in the loop when I upload new videos. And uh, if you want to read more about uh, healing gemstones and the different qualities of different gemstones, you might want to check out my book, he uh, Gemstones, uh, Jewelry and Gemstones for Self-Discovery. Well, you can tell I haven't looked at that for a while. <laughs> so anyway, I have a website, Jewelry and Jury and Gems for Self Discovery and uh, dot com, so you can uh, check it out. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. And as we say on Maui, aloha. Well, if you like my presentation, make sure you sign up there for a subscription. So you get automatically informed when I uh, bring up mm, new videos. Uh, I have a main channel, Shakti Karola Neverin, where I'm working more with astrology. Uh, but also there are going to be some videos about the connection between astrology and healing gems and how you can use healing gems to balance different areas of challenge and friction in your chart. Uh, but on this channel, I'm going to uh, concentrate on, on the mysterious world of gemstones and uh, different ways how to can use crystals and gemstones. I have developed a program called the Gemstone Profile, where you can put in your astrological data and then you get your main healing stones uh, based on all the different planet positions in your chart. So you might want to check that out. If you're a gemstone lover, that's uh, next step. So you can go to my astrology site, mauiastrologyreading.com. And this is where you can find the gemstone profile and a little bit more information about healing gemstones, metaphysical qualities of gemstones, and so on. So thank you for joining and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe so you don't miss the next uh, videos about how you program crystals and all the specific things we can do. So see you soon. Aloha, as we say here on Maui. <laughs>